China podcast with me, Christina Kohler Coluccia from Woodburn Accountants and Advisors. Our daily episodes on solving your China and Hong Kong business pain points are there to help leaders, managers, and entrepreneurs with the daily struggles they may be facing while setting up and operating in China and or Hong Kong. We look at corporate administrative battles such as tax planning, incorporation, accounting, human resource, and labor, as well as cultural and language nuances that may make a daily business life hard. Our goal is to leave you with solutions at your fingertips. I hope you enjoy the episode. Welcome back to another episode. Today, we're going to be looking at whether offshore tax exemption is still applicable in Hong Kong. Now, in Hong Kong, the term offshore tax exemption typically refers to the principle of territorial taxation. Hong Kong adopts a territorial tax system, meaning that only income generated within the territory is subject to tax and income earned outside of Hong Kong is generally exempt from Hong Kong profits tax. So how does it actually work? Hong Kong taxes are based on the source principle where income is taxed based on its source rather than the residence of the taxpayer. Income sourced outside Hong Kong is generally not subject to Hong Kong profits tax. Now, if a Hong Kong company conducts business activities that generate income outside of Hong Kong, that income is considered offshore income and again exempt from Hong Kong profits tax. Unlike some jurisdictions that practice worldwide taxation where income earned globally is subject to taxation, Hong Kong's territorial tax system focuses on taxing income generated only within its borders. Now, this system is particularly attractive to businesses and investors as it allows them to benefit from a low and simple tax regime in Hong Kong while conducting international business, international transactions, without facing additional taxation on foreign earned income. It is important to note that the application of offshore tax exemption is subject to certain conditions um, and businesses must ensure compliance with the relevant regulations. Certain conditions would be, for example, that no inventory is kept in Hong Kong, that you are not collaborating with other businesses or clients or third parties within Hong Kong. Um, outsourcing services to a, a, a registered corporate service provider is another issue because you are outsourcing and making your structure virtual. You have to make that sure that all transactions are considered offshore, meaning again that you're not invoicing or receiving an invoice from any entity that is registered within Hong Kong. You should also make sure that you have no employees that are on the Hong Kong um, payroll. Now, tax laws and regulations uh, can change, so it is advisable to seek professional advice or consult with the Inland Revenue Department in Hong Kong for really the most up-to-date information and guidance on offshore tax exemption. Um, now, there are rumors that changes will occur with the offshore tax exemption system. When that will actually be implemented is not clear. So again, you know, make sure that you are obtaining really the most accurate and up-to-date information regarding this topic. Consult with tax professionals, legal advisors, or don't be shy. Head on over directly to the Inland Revenue Department website or call them specifically. They do speak English. There are people within that government office that do speak English um, and keep yourselves updated. Hope this episode has helped. See you soon. If you enjoyed this episode and you'd like to help support the podcast, please share it with others, post about it on social media, or leave a rating and review. Now, can Woodburn help you? I am offering a free 30-minute call where we discuss the obstacles you are encountering on your China and or Hong Kong business journey and how we can help accelerate your success. The link to my diary is in the show notes. I look forward to speaking with you soon.